In GCSE chemistry and in A-level chemistry, you will become familiar with practical apparatus. And what we've got down here, we've got a selection of apparatus which you would use in a titration. So we've got a burette and burettes measure up to 50 centimetres cubed and they're used in a titration. We've got pipettes. Now pipettes are what we call graduated. They are very accurate and so there's an actual mark at the top, okay, and it, it's a graduation and it's an accurate measurement to draw out a known volume of a solution. And again, it's used in a titration. You will obviously have a pipette filler and here are your pipette fillers and you'll get them in the lab. And again, you've got a conical flask and that conical flask is used in a titration. We have a dropping pipette and these are made of plastic or you can get them made of glass, but they just draw out small volumes of solutions or reagents, chemicals, okay? And then we've got a beaker and beakers measure up to 250 centimetres cubed in the lab and chemical reactions can take place in beakers. We have washing bottles and washing bottles are used to have distilled water in them. And then we've got a clamp and a retort stand here, which you will have come across before. Okay. What we've got down here is what you should be familiar with already. You may have seen a gauze and here's your gauze. You've got your tripod, you've got your Bunsen burner, you've got your heat proof mat. Again, these are things you should be aware of. You've got something called a spirit burner here and this is a spirit burner and you'll be using this when you carry out combustion reactions. You've got measuring cylinders and again measuring cylinders measure out known volumes of solutions and they're all different volumes you can measure out usually they come in plastic or in glass you've got tongs and these are tongs and tongs are used to obviously lift up any hot items you've got a glass stirrer here and glass stirrers are used to mix chemical reactants together You've got a volumetric flask and volumetric flasks are used in titrations to make standard solutions and they measure up to 250 centimetres cubed. Again, there is a graduation mark so you'll know that when you actually fill the volumetric flask up, you go to a certain mark which is up to 250 centimetres cubed, a very accurate measurement. It is graduated. And then you have what we call a watch glass down here. And this watch glass is used for when you're drying out solids and crystals. So these are just some of the apparatus you will come across at both GCSE and A-level chemistry, but it's really useful for you to know.